Okay, we are filming a set of side reins attached to a side pull method um, head stall. I couldn't find my stupid lunging cabasom, but because I never use it. Um, anyhow, so we want to show the weight that the pressure that the horse puts on himself just from the reins standing at static. So right now he's a little bit above the vertical. If he checks inside, of course, the weight comes off the reins. Okay, as you can see here, he's, he's up to four pounds right here, just standing. So just standing, no pressure, no movement, he's at four pounds. So if we walk him forward, walk Vader, come on, walk, come, 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 which he doesn't want to do because he hates it. You can see already just pushing against it, that thing has fluctuated up and back. Come, come, walk. So just that amount of pull has moved. Now he's up to seven pounds. That's just on his nose. And again, he's slightly in front of the vertical. If I were to tighten this to where most of the little Western pleasure and headsetter people put it right here. Oh, he looks aggrieved. Come on, stay, come. You can tell my horses never get used with this. You can see now that this thing's climbed up. It hit 12 pounds. Even with his head tucked down by his knees, it went up to 12 pounds. He's actually got his head tilted to bring this weight inside. So down, when he comes up, it fluctuates up 12 pounds. Now, that probably doesn't sound much. This is on his nose, and I cannot get my finger up in here. So it's constant pressure fluctuating between 8 and 12 pounds. If that was on his mouth, constant pressure pulling here. Okay, so we're going to pause this a minute. We're going to move this scale to another section of the horse. Go. Okay, this is our sliver scale. This is actually for measuring the weight of salad bowls. So you can spread it out when you set your salad bowl here. It tells you how heavy your salad is or whatever food I don't cook. So this gets used on horses. All right, I had to tighten this just a little bit to get this thing to stay steady in here but it's going to measure the weight that the horse puts on this nose band so at rest this thing should be like right around three to four pounds because that's the necessary weight to hold it on now we're going to tighten our side rein right back to the setting that we had it when he was putting four pounds just on the side rein okay Woo. so now it's right to where he's putting four pounds on the side rein now you can see when he fluctuates up on this nose band, it, it'll get clear up. Okay, this is upside down. This is pounds, this is ounces. So up and back, anywhere from 11, look like 18 at some points, and then down back to four to five pounds, which is our static weight. So now he's yielding, so not so much pressure on the nose band. He's dropping his head down, so that's taking the weight off of it. And now we're gonna push it back up there we go, 12, 15 pounds. So this is how much pressure is at the part attached to the horse's head. Static, when this on the side reins is at four to eight pounds of pressure. So again, if this nose band was super, super tight, you know, held steady to keep it from rotating, and you've got eight to 10 pounds of pressure on your side rein, you're actually putting more pressure on his nose bone. Now, this would be the pressure that would be between the cannons of the bit and the tongue. If you just transferred that to the mouth and stuck the scale in there, that's your static endpoint that the horse himself is pulling against. So when people say these side reins don't hurt, or if they think that they're just no big deal with a snaffle, um, we've just shown how much weight a horse can put on these. Just come, yeah, he's really hating this crap. Unhook um, the poor boy. So we're going to unhook this and we're going to move this and do an experiment with a tie down because that's a little more direct pressure. Okay, pause. Come to show this. Okay, so now we've got a tie down on. This is a standard, just Western tie down. As you can see, we never use it because it's still got a tag on it. I don't even know when this thing was ever near a horse. Anyhow, so we've got the, our sliver scale up under his nose. And we've got him in a relaxed thing. There's a little bit of drape to the, the tie-down ring. But we're going to ask him to put his head up like a horse that's straining against this thing. He's not buying it. <laughs> and there we go. 
he is definitely putting pressure. I can't, damn it, see the numbers. Um, it's going up about to six pounds just pulling up against it. So anyone that thinks that these things don't put pinpoint pressure on nerve. Now, if I was pulling this back down, if I had this tightened to where he started off on the vertical, come on, stick your, he's not falling for this at all. Nope. You can see <laughs> that the, the weight climbs fairly substantially. So if this were cable or chain like some people use, or if it was a brain buster up here, the horse can raise his head. He's got 300 pounds of pressure that he can exert from his neck. If you just literally stuck a 300 pound weight, hung it off his neck and spooked this horse backwards, he can pick it up with his neck. So at the, any given point, as he's straining against a tie down, he is hitting all of these superficial nerves here and even pulling back against the caudal ear, caudal nerve up here by the ear. If you had a brain buster on him across here, same thing, you're gonna get the damage here and again, 300 pounds of pressure, just base. I mean, he was running up into the double digits just standing here. And that's not at a gallop. That's not me dragging his head into a turn. Now, the other aspect you have to consider, a lot of people do um, sur singles or they do the bit training where they run it from the bit between the horse's leg, loop it up around their spine right here. And the other thing we need to notice, get your head up, is that when you bring a single strand leather rein up around the horse's spine and he's exerting his 300 or so pounds of pressure, he's basically putting it right here on the spine. So at the point that there is a pinpoint pressure, and if you figure if this is as wide as a rein, pulling down against that with 300 pounds, this is why horses develop back problems. Aside from the fact you put them in an unnatural frame, he's now exerting his pressure. He's pulling against this nose band. He's pulling up through his legs. So again, anything the leather touches between his legs hit nerves. And he's putting pinpoint pressure down on his spine. That's why I hate to see colts or older horses worked with that stuff where they just bring the reins up through the legs and tie it over the back and they think they're teaching their horse to be soft. They're not. They're teaching them that there is no reward for doing a good job. You can tuck your head, but you're still going to be hurting because you're putting pressure here, you're putting pressure here, you're putting pressure here. Everything is being pulled against. So my recommendation, now that you can see how fast these figures climb with the pressure that just the horse exerts. This is not him cantering, trotting. He's not stretching into anything. This is just him standing around. And it got up to pretty high levels very quickly. If it had been a bit in his mouth, it would have been 10 times worse. It, it would have been, you know, 15 pounds of pressure sitting right here on the tongue in the bars with no relief. So think twice before you tie your horse's head to anything, including himself.